Hello there, love. This is Infinity, and today is January 12th, 2021. And I have been guided to do an updated version of the cord cutting meditation that I recorded on 520 of 2020. <clears throat> so that is what we're going to do here now is the updated version of the cord cutting. And I'm really excited about this. This has been a big theme lately for people um, in my world, <laughs> uh, my clients and uh, and I have been getting th the messages either for me or for them, for us. It's a really important practice to do for different people, situations, and circumstances in your life. I go into great detail about this uh, on my website. Uh, I just have added to the information. I'm going to be publishing a, an ebook for that that you can download, um, as well as the two other podcasts that came before this, like I said, in May of last year, 2020, uh, episodes 82 and 83. So recently I was guided to, uh, like I said, a lot of this cord cutting coming up for those coming to me for healings, the prerequisite being getting through some cord cutting before doing the actual healing and, uh, and also for myself and my own forward movement in, in my journey needing to, um, cut a couple of cords. And in my review and doing my meditation, my own meditation, which is always kind of strange to hear your own voice, uh, it, I was inspired to do an updated version. We're in a new year. It's 2021. We're, like I said, it's the 12th of January, 2021. And yeah, new energy, new year, new meaning with cord cutting. Um, I guess just in the sense of we're starting the year off. We just ended the uh, Stargate. We're in a new moon today. So there's a lot of uh, the Stargate going from what, <coughs> excuse me, 1 1 20, 21 to 1. 11 2021 so today's the 12th today is officially the, the new moon uh it is uh currently right now 4 44 p.m in the pacific on this day so a lot of things coming into alignment to do an updated version um some things have been coming to me and uh, as far as what may be to come, it's going to be sort of, it's going to be similar because we're, of course, we're going to the same healing temple if you've done the cord cutting. So we are doing a lot of the same thing. If you're thinking, oh no, I really like that. Um, yeah, it is, we are going to the same place, but there are going to be some variants to it. So, and I'm not even totally sure. So without further ado, here under four minutes getting into it. Uh, please set your space. Um, I, as you can hear, I have music going here in the background. Um, you can also have your own. Dim your lights. You're going to do this sitting up so you don't get too cozy. But this is a good practice to do right before bed. Uh, so you can lay down, go to sleep, and let your body acclimate and integrate with the incoming energies that you've just pulled back to yourself with this cord cutting practice. Um, as always with my meditations, you don't um, have to sit still uh, at all. You may even get really tingly or whatever and itchy and feel free to move around. The only thing that you want to keep as steady as possible is having your eyes closed. So please keep your eyes closed when you do this, um, uh, practice. Also wearing an eye mask is a great helper in case you get startled or whatever. You open up your eyes a little bit. You're not going to pop out of, of where you're at. Again, uh, it's 
a good idea to do this before bed. It's also a good idea to have uh, what the situation is or specific points in time that you can think of that were extra negatively charged with this person or it could just be the entire relationship if you want to see it that way. Um, but it does help to have some, um, you know, that certain memories or whatever that comes up just right. Like if you actively try not to think of those things because it's upsetting or whatever, but this is a good time to actually have those readily available. So when it comes up in the meditation, you, you can, you know, pull it up really easily. Um, because, uh, part of what we're going to be doing this time around is, uh, thinking about some specific things just to really help us get in there and um, release the energy. So it's 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 just helpful to have written down some things about the person or the situation that you want to cut cords with. And uh, you can also have the intention, you can have and fold up that piece of paper, um, hold on to it or uh, tuck it under your pillow, under your seat or something like that. And then afterwards you can burn it with a little ritual of your own. It doesn't have to be the new moon, but if it is the new moon, that's really cool. Uh, but it could be any, t any day of the month or the year where you're um, doing this practice, uh, just it just needs to be, you know, something that you think about a little bit beforehand and, and you decide that this is something you're going to do in the near future or set a date a couple days ahead of time, that sort of thing. Um, again, please listen to my other, uh, my at least the episode number 82 and read the information on my website or read the the new ebook that I have available also on my website um so you can download it for your uh reading pleasure <laughs> and so just just so you have a good understanding of what it means to cut cords, what energy cords are, what how it, that, that affects you, what it does when you cut cords and all of that, just so you have a good, good understanding of what it means to do what we're going to do. Okay, so without further ado, here we go. <clears throat> if you can please get in a nice, comfortable seated position, Again, I want to thank you for being here and being guided to do this astral meditation with me. It is called astral because we really are jumping in dimension and going someplace other than where you are here upon Gaia. That's just how I do all of my meditations. You don't have to have any uh, prerequisite or have done astral meditation before. Just follow my voice and, and go as guided. I want to thank your guides and guardians for bringing you here uh, at this divine right moment, whenever that is in your world. I want to thank them as always for being so amazing in my life, for guiding me to this moment. Um, I love you so very, very much. Okay. So, seated nice and firm in your seat in that butt um cross-legged if you can but comfortable is most important so however you're comfortable sitting for a decent amount of time this is probably going to last at least 30 minutes you want to be straight in your spine, your ascension column. So shoulders back and down, chin up, top of your head nice and straight and flat so you can put a book on it. Easy breezy face. So don't be tense in the face. It helps to have a little smile going on to keep your vibe high so you don't get too serious with yourself. If 
you could please put your hands on uh, your knees, palms up, just very relaxed, not outstretched or not clenched, just very relaxed with your palms. If your hair is up or you have a hat on, anything covering your head, please take your hair down. Take your hat off. So if you could please take a couple nice, slow, deep breaths. However it feels good here at the top with your mouth open or closed, through your nose, through your mouth. Just, I just want you to take a couple deep breaths to center yourself. Get straight in your seat, nice and locked in with your butt, your pelvis straight, not tilted forward or backward. Straight with your, with your tailbone, straight with your, with your lower back and your hips and straight with your shoulders your shoulder blades, your neck, and your head. Again, easy, palms open on your knees. Engage your abdomen, so you're supporting your back with your abs. You're not slouching. And if you could just start to take very easy, controlled, but deep breaths. So nothing too shallow. You just wanna fill up your lungs and let them release and fill up your lungs and let them release through your nose. So in through your nose, out through your nose. So an inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. And an exhale, one, two, three, four, five, and six. At the top and the bottom, just hold for a moment. And then release again. I want to welcome in officially our guides and guardians, your mine and ours. You might get popping in your ears, ringing in your ears, tingly nose, tingly ears, a warm sensation on the top of your head or your shoulders or your back. These are your guides coming in. You may see bright electric kind of light with your even with your eyes closed or an eye mask on and that is uh, typically negative energy leaving the body it just kind of lights up as it goes and this is also something that your angelics will um, help facilitate and it's just a natural byproduct of connecting the way that we are and doing what we're doing and working with your guides guardians and closely most closely i should say are your angelics your guardian angels your miracle angels and your healing angels always with you and present to help you assist you and guide you on your journey even though you may not be aware of them they're there and aware of you since the day you were born and always with you and aside from them you're connected with uh the archangels and they can be in multiple places and they can uh you can call on them they are here present in this practice so whichever archangel that you uh resonate with or you feel very close to could be a few of them just know your archangels are here and present
All those of the High Council are in support of this practice. The High Council is comprised of particular angels and archangels, galactics from this and other systems and times and dimensions, the Fae upon Gaia, ocean and land, Gaia herself, all representing the High Council, those who work not only here with Gaia, um, but uh, in other places throughout creation. So there's also other uh, planet representatives as like Gaia, Gaia being a consciousness of her own, an entity of being a divine, highly, uh, <clears throat> super high level, extremely highly ascended and trans, uh, trans transitioned and transformed to be able to be who and what she is supporting all the life that she does. Working with her closely is something that I do on a regular basis. I channel for her. She works with me in all of my healings. And she may come through to speak today. I quite honestly don't know, know yet, but I know she is here. She's offering support. She's already sending up energies through her body. And um, it's interesting recording this because like I'm, I'm feeling it at on at this time but also for future for the future too when others are tapping in as though you're already here with me doing it live <sighs> so again welcome everyone Thank you for being guided here. Thank you for supporting this practice. It is so very important to cut cords, to pull back and bring back all the tendrils of energy that you have that are going out to people, places, and situations that are only taking and and pulling on your life force. And it, there is not an equal exchange, a positive exchange of energy. So doing this practice, this healing practice, will bring back much needed life force, your own life force into and back into your body. So you'll feel it energetically, you'll feel it spiritually, you'll feel it physically. Uh, for the next day or so, you may feel uh, tired, a little achy, your head may hurt, you might have a headache, you may be sensitive to light. And this is because you're literally pulling back more energy into your body and your body has to acclimate. It doesn't mean anything is wrong. Don't panic. Everything is fine. You're just getting used to more energy in your body. And after that happens, you might feel, re most likely you'll feel really, really good much lighter, much more at peace. You may, if you're <clears throat> in contact with a people or person that you're doing this with or situation, um, even thinking about it or, or, or talking with them or being around them or their own disposition towards you or just in general, you may see a marked improvement in that because again, their energy cord and your energy cord are connected and what we're doing is pulling it back. <clears throat> Make sure after doing this practice that you drink plenty of water, um, more than usual for the next couple of days. <clears throat> Uh, 
Okay. What I'd like you to do at this time is feel your angelics coming um, very close around you. You probably have already felt like this in these last few minutes since we welcome them in. So intentionally, just once again, welcome in your guides and guardians and your angelics working with you most closely. My dove Ariel chiming in always does when we do this kind of work. So invite them to get nice and tight around you so you really feel their energy. And what they'd like to do is just really wash you of any negative stagnant energy that is around, around your body just superficially in and around your field, in the room that you're in. And you can see this like a beautiful opalescent, golden, copper, shimmery, purple, violet, rainbow, electric, alive energy. Just filtering out around you, cocooning you in this energy. So just imagine you're in this beautiful bubble of this super amazing high vibrational energy brought to you by your angelics, connecting with your body, helping you filter energy, helping you get nice and soft and buoyant with your energy and your physical body so you can travel <coughs> excuse me as we're gonna do right now and so you can more easily work with your energy do this kind of alchemy and self-healing and please see it like that you are performing a healing on yourself being guided by myself and by your angelics but you are performing this healing very active in this and what we're going to be doing you brought yourself here nobody else did <laughs> so Please understand that you are, are healing yourself when you do this. It's probably one of the highest forms of self-care and self-love and self-wellness and health wellness that you can possibly do for yourself. So just please take a moment to give yourself a good pat on the back recognize your awareness to get here to do this healing to level up to get strong as you're <clears throat> excuse me as you're sitting there in your bubble in your beautiful sphere So just take a moment to just really feel all this energy around you and you want to see it as big as if you were to hold your arms out and that to be all around you surrounding you. And just breathe that beautiful energy in. Just feel it all over your skin and repeat, I release and I receive. I release and I receive. And this will help your body to intentionally release negative energy. And just have the intention of releasing negative energy throughout this practice. 
with this I release and I receive mantra going on in the background just play that for yourself just have the intention this entire practice to release energies that are not you that are negative that are you know lower frequency lower charge that you may have picked up along your day or your week whatever it may be that they will just easily fall right off at like an effervescence and transmute ask your angelics to help take them away from your body And again, just visualize your entire home with all this beautiful energy just permeating through everything. Then what I'd like you to do is tap in with your lowest chakra, your root chakra, right there at the base of your spine your tailbone area and this energy you'll feel down in your butt and down your legs so just let that energy flow beautiful red color tapping in with your root chakra we're just going to go up your chakras just to be aware of your chakras because energy cords do attach to your body but they attach to your energy centers So different people will attach to different places of your body and you attach to different places in other people's bodies. You don't have any real control over this. Um, It's just something that naturally happens. But what is a good idea to do is to activate and start feeling into your energy body starting at that root chakra. So just imagine turning on a switch like a dimmer switch on a light and just turning it up from low to bright with that root chakra energy, keeping it in and right around the body, not getting too, too big with it. You know, let let a little energy go up your ascension column to your sacral and feel how the energy is all connected sacral is orange in color so again with that light switch just turn it up have the intention of turning up that energy so just to yourself I turn up the energy of my sacral chakra really see yourself with your hand on a dial turning it up feeling your energy body just get more activated if you don't feel these very specifically that is okay it's just about the intention and getting your body used to these commands it's designed to work with your intention in meditation like this to be guided like this so it'll just fall in line because you're leading the way Again, make sure you have a nice, easy smile on your face. Shoulders back, pelvis is straight, ascension column nice and straight. Just check in with your posture, where your hands are. If it helps as you go through this, as we're getting into your solar plexus, let's go up to your solar plexus. You can put your hand right there over your belly button and also visualize turning up that dial seeing that beautiful yellow color come to life i want you to see it also in like around your hips and your back not just in your front this your energy centers are in the center of your body so don't just see them and feel them in the front of your body just inside your body all the way around so if you were to walk around yourself you would see this energy we turn down the saturation of your skin 
your flesh and bone. We're just seeing energy. We're going to see that red, that orange, that yellow, and them blending together and getting nice and big and activated. So take a nice deep breath in through your nose, all the way down to that solar plexus chakra. And feed that life force energy directly into that energy center right there at your stomach. Feel it permeating through. And let's move on to the heart chakra going straight up. Line of light up your ascension column right in the center of your chest for your heart chakra. Beautiful green in color. So again, let's just turn up the dial there. Let's feel it getting nice and big, nice and bright. You can feel your heart chakra down your arms, up through your shoulders and your neck, and down into your abdomen, your shoulder blades, all over down into uh, the lower part of your back, up your back of your neck and into your head, your ears, your jaw, and your face. Heart chakra energy <clears throat> is very, very strong once you have it really, really activated and in flow. You may not feel it all of those places um, if you're new to this sort of thing, but that definitely is something that can happen, as well as uh, you working with and moving your heart chakra energy out of the shoulder blade area which is known as your energetic wings and really working with that energy. So if you're somebody who already knows about this and does this work, please at this time, send your heart chakra energy um, through those open channels at your shoulder blades and send that energy out or activate it. Let it get bigger at this time if they're already out and open. And again, if this is new to you, just have the intention of opening up the area um, energetically right at <clears throat> your shoulder blades. So just imagine just unzip like zippers coming down and just opening up that energy, um, those energy sections right there for your heart chakra very specifically. And tell your heart chakra energy that it is to move out of the body and let your energetic wings come to life or unfurl and fold, however you want to see that and command it for yourself. I do have a separate meditation for doing just wing the wing exercise so if this is something that you want to do or revisit please um, do so with the information that you have here so just feel that energy going up into your throat chakra. So let's let that energy travel up to your throat chakra. Beautiful blue, sky blue color. You're going to turn up the dial there. And let this energy get bigger than your throat. It's going to take over your entire head down into your chest. Breathe directly in and through your throat chakra down into your lungs. and command your energy center just to get bigger and brighter and more open. And start to really feel the flow going from bottom to top and just the, the way that it's naturally supposed to flow from the bottom to the top and the top to the bottom, nice and open. All energy centers nice and open as much as they can be with just superficial tapping in and and activating and just have the intention to get more in touch and in tune and 
to work with your chakras even more in the future and to be guided in ways to do that. And going up into the third eye, have the intention of really tapping into that pineal gland, your third eye, it's right in the center of your brain. It's just like your two eyes that you see with, made out of the same um, components and biological structure and all sorts of goodies that go on in your eyes is the exact same thing that happens with your third eye, your pineal gland. So very intentionally decide that you're going to open up that third eye as though your eyes closed. You're going to open up your eye. This is indigo in color. We're going to turn up the, the brightness, the intensity, and the flow of your third eye and just promote it to open up. When your third eye is open, you just get so much more information. You, your vision is, is better. Um, your, uh, your psychic vision is better. <clears throat> your awareness is better. Everything spiritually and psychically levels up the more open and active and connected your third eye is. And if that's that way, then the rest of your body works even better too, because you're, you can pay attention so much more to the incoming messages and what things mean in your own body and the messages coming to you from outside forces. So have the intention of letting this energy expand outside of your cranium. So we don't have to keep this energy locked in our heads. We can let it go. So if, again, if you're looking at yourself from the outside, you would see this beautiful indigo color all around your head, like a big helmet. And it's just as big, at least as big as your shoulders. So have that intention of expanding your third eye energy. Same thing with your throat, expanding that throat energy nice and big. And these energy centers, this energy permeating with that sphere of energy that was put in place there by your angelics. So just very intentionally think about opening up and making your chakras big enough to commingle with each other and with that sphere that is around you. So it's energized not only by your angelics, but by your own life force. We're also promoting your life force to be very active and invigorated and open. Again, I release and I receive. Please check your posture. And at this time, what I'd like you to do is envision <sighs> envision one of your angelics or an archangel, whoever comes to mind, coming into your field directly in front of you and handing you a big, beautiful, clear crystal quartz point. But it is what we would call turned on and very, very bright. So they hand you this beautiful crystal and I want you to hold it in your hands. It's, it's big enough so you can hold it in two hands, but it's not huge. Again, it's a beautiful crystal point. Actually, it's a double point. So not just a, a point, not a flat, not a flat bottom, but a double point on both sides or both ends, I should say but it is turned on and electric inside. It's giving off this beautiful uh, light and frequency. 
So just take a hold of it and feel that energy. And then I want you to put it right over your heart chakra, right at your chest. and feel the energy of this big, beautiful crystal handed to you by your angelic. It came to give you this beautiful healing tool. So the directions here is to take this crystal and you're going to integrate it directly into your chest. So you're going to, so what you're going to do is just very intentionally, just feel it going into your body, right at your chest, integrating with your heart, activating your crystalline DNA, promoting healing, releasing of energies and greater co conductivity energetically and connections with your angelics and your spirit tribe. Just feel it going into your body, lighting your, you up, lighting all of you up even more than you were before, supercharging your chakras, really whew, <laughs> sending a pulse of light up and down with those two points. So feel that light going all the way down through all of your chakras below and through your heart chakra and below. So your heart, your solar, your sacral, and your root, and just this light going straight through and then going up from your heart, your throat, your third eye, and then finally all the way through your uh, third eye going straight up and through your crown chakra. So you want to see your crown chakra as this beautiful violet ring of light. And also this is where your halo would be. So it would be going straight through your halo. At the same time, this halo of energy with your crown chakra is going around um, not too fast, but just very actively going around in a clockwise motion, really creating this energy vortex from the very top with your crown chakra going around your third eye and then around your throat, around your heart, around your solar plexus, around your sacral and around your root and going straight down into Gaia, integrating with Gaia's energy so you can feel her energy. So have the intention of grounding with Gaia She's reminding us that from the top, she was sending up pulses of energy. So she's just pulling us down. She's really grounding us like a magnet to another magnet, just really feeling pulled down by Gaia, nice and grounded, really helping us to clear energy, to so really feel that and just send all of that energy all the way through to the center of Gaia where she is and just let her receive your energy and let her send up energy through that channel as well sending you clearing healing loving energy just feel that coming up and all through your body you want to feel this down your arms down your legs let's open up your hand chakras so again just opening up this channel of energy if it helps to see it as a zipper and just energetically opening up very intentionally just letting the flow of energy go same thing with your feet Nice, easy breaths in and out of your nose. Really feel into your body now that it's nice and activated. 
got this sphere of energy around us. We're integrating with it, with our energy. We just integrated with this beautiful crystal brought to you by your angelic or archangelic. Like really working with your energetic and physical body, your spiritual body, your etheric, your auric bodies. I release and I receive. So with this crystal embedded and integrated, activated within our system, we want to tell it to take us to the healing temple. And so we start to rise with our energy, start to lift off of Gaia. As you get higher in dimension, we may even be able to see the swirls of energy around us, our angelics are all around us as we rise in our dimension, in our consciousness, in our astral projections that we can move to a higher place and state of mind, higher dimension. So we're ask, asking to go to the healing temple and as we rise, we're getting higher and higher in dimensions as though we're floating on this big beautiful cloud you can look off into the distance and see your brothers and sisters who are also participating in this meditation in this divine now moment and just like uh, hot air balloons rising all together just look out you may not be able to make out exactly who these people are but know they're fellow brothers and sisters of the light incarnates who are also doing this most important work remember as we heal one we heal all so you doing this healing raises your vibration makes your connection stronger that helps other people raise their vibrations and make their connections stronger. Just have that understanding, that awareness, that intention to help yourself, but also your brothers and your sisters and all of humanity, Gaia as a whole, to heal, to transmute negative energy. As we rise up and we're approaching the healing temple, and this looks like exactly what it sounds like a big healing temple up in higher dimension up in the sky if you will uh there's no actual foundation to it no beginning or no end it just comes out of the clouds big beautiful long staircase made of marble there are these beautiful pillars and candles lit on both sides It is that time of day where it's that twilight. There's still a little bit of light left in the sky, but it's getting dark. You can see the stars as we look up. You can see ourselves in our galaxy. It's so beautiful and bright. The shimmers of the stars and the electricity like the northern lights are shining all below us and around us. We are lit up with our own energy as we arrive at the steps of the healing temple. So you wanna make your way to the steps and just turn around and look out at this beautiful seeing the sunset there's still this all the beautiful colors it's the most perfect sunset you can look up and see that how we are in the middle of everything so many stars and swirling all around the healing temple are angelics and see their energy shooting all around.
And at this time, you may encounter a spirit animal coming to be with you and assist you. It doesn't always happen, but I'm told that you may have a companion with you at this time. Who's going to be with you and guide you. If one shows up, please definitely take note of that companion. Maybe even different than what you're used to seeing or what you thought was your animal. We all have various and many spirit animals that will come and help us at various times through our development, through our journey, helping us through different and various missions. So always be open to whatever animal comes to you or insect. And you're going to make your way up the steps. Taking note of any other things that are symbolic, anything that may show up or anything coming to your awareness. With each step, you have greater intention of healing and clearing energy, of bringing back life force into your body. And we're almost all the way up the stairs with these big set of steps, I should say, very big, very long. And when we do um, approach the top, there's a big landing and there's different fountains and waterfalls. The atmosphere is so high vibrational and loving and supportive. Want to see how our guides and guardians are here, ancestors, more animal spirits, fellow souls of the light. And they all take notice that you have arrived. They all stop what they're doing, stop their chats to look at you, to smile, to say or wave hello, to welcome you to this beautiful place, the healing temple. You have been here before many, many times. This is where you come to heal yourself. This is where you come to get information and help on how to heal others. This is where we come in our astral to confer with each other and remember things, make connections. We come here in our sleep all the time we just don't remember. Now we're being brought here in this awake and astral state so we can be very conscious of this place and come here as often as we are guided, both in our astral sleep state and in our astral wake state. So you're going to make your way through this garden and and landing area where people are seated and standing and having nice, warm, loving conversations or just sitting in the grass and meditating or or floating in the water, the channel uh, of water that's going around or the different pools. But everybody here, it has the same intention and it's all about connections and healing. So we're going to make our way past this area and go towards the main building, the dome temple, the healing temple. can start to think about why you're here and who you're here or what circumstance and experience you're here to cut cords with. 
as we start making our way into the healing temple. And as you can see, there's, it's, there's a, as we make our way into and inside of the actual structure, we turn around and we look and we can't see anything beyond the archway. We're in a different place now. It's lit up with candles. Nice warm glow, beautiful energy here. This first room is pretty vast. There's pillars and again, you look up, you see the big dome. And the dome itself is um, invisible, but you can tell that there's structure to it. So you can see up and through to the stars, that nighttime sky. But from this place, things are very close, very bright and moving much quicker. So just know you're in a much higher dimension. And then you're going to walk forward in through this, uh, this big gallery and entryway. And up a little ways, there is a, um, like a marquee, a sign with all sorts, it's like a menu of healing, all sorts of different things that, that we can do for healing. But we wanna say, we're here for cord cutting. And so magically, once we say that with our intention that we're here to cut cords, this beautiful golden key appears where the list and the marquee was and you can go and reach and take that that key and hold it in your hand and immediately it starts guiding you down a corridor find yourself walking down a corridor and there's more corridors and you can see different rooms and other archways as you walk but the key is guiding you to a door. So however the door looks for you, you're going to come up to the door and there is the lock that goes with that key. And you're going to put the key in and it will unlock the door. And as soon as you do that, everything around you disappears and you're in this beautiful room, but it feels like you're just in space. Like everything you saw through that dome is where you are. Everything that's solid is gone, but yet you can stand on the surface you're not going to float away. You still know that you're in the healing temple, but it is a magical place. And so it takes you into this vast awareness of all these beautiful stars and the different planets and galaxies as far as you can see. And you know, there's so much more. And this is to illustrate and to show you how connected we are energetically to everything and how everything is connected to us and how we can move through space and time and be in a place like this right now. And again, magically, to illustrate what you're doing here for cutting cords through this invisible room, you can see outside energy cords, like a huge web 
taking shape and form outside of the dome. Like a spider weaving a web quickly, quickly, quickly in all of directions. And you can see these lines of light stretching everywhere, 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 illustrating all the infinite souls who have a soul and have energy cords going out to others and those coming back to them and it going in all different directions. Showing you once again, really illustrating how energy works in our creation. So at this time, it is when you need to declare who it is you are going to cut cords with. You say their name. You can say it out loud or to yourself, your guides and guardians, your soul, the work that you're going to do. Everyone knows what you're here for already, but you must declare it. I am here to cut cords with. And whether it's a person or a situation, a circumstance, a, or a particular set of circumstances that you're batching together, make your declaration for what you want to cut cords with and call forth all the energy that has to do with that person or the situations with that person or the circumstance and experiences associated with that person. Call up your memory and Lastly, what you're going to do is walk forward in, in this room, in this space. You're going to stand directly in the center. Remember to breathe. I release and I receive. We're going to start activating your energy cords now. So just have the intention of activating your energy cords so you can look at yourself and then what appears in front of you is a mirror so you can see yourself and you can see the energy cords going from you to you in the mirror okay nice big mirror reflecting back you and your energy cords not just the one that you've called forth but all of them the one that you've called forth is going to be positioned in the center right um just a couple few inches but above your belly button a few inches below your the center of your chest so kind of like in that diaphragm area the one that we're going to work on. But for now, we want you to take a look at yourself in the mirror and see the energy cords coming from your body and going again to you in the mirror and where they're going to really see all of your energy cords, as many as you can see right now that are coming out of your energy system, life force energy going out and you may not have the identification of all these energy cores and what they go to, but the idea is to be aware of them and ask yourself, ask your soul, ask your higher self, your guides and your guardians to help you identify the other cords that need to be worked with and, and brought back into your body what other cords you need to cut and to give you the, the directions, the guidance, the motivation to work with these other cords as well. However, remember we can only work um, on one person or one circumstance at a time, especially if you have a, a deep connection, a long standing connection with a person, with a specific person So just see the different energy cords <clears throat> going from you and to the mirror.
And then we're going to tell the energy cords that we're not working with just to go back out of our vision, start to lose their saturation until we are left with just the one energy cord that we're working with. So again, if it's just one person that you're working with, it's going to be one big energy cord, most likely pretty large. It wouldn't be here if it wasn't a decent size energy cord or a cord that needed cutting. And again, when we talk about cutting, you're going to see it is not um, invasive. It's very, very gentle. And really what we're doing is just the cutting is more like cutting off of the constant connection. We're not really cutting anything else than that. So like a phone that's always off the hook and dialed up and on, we're going to just hang it up. So it's not always open and connected. So bringing your energy back to you. So just see yourself in the mirror and see this energy cord and really feel that energy coming from out of you. I want to be intentional about recognizing, acknowledging this energy cord. So just take a moment here. I'm going to be quiet. So just take a moment here to think about the person or the situation, what it's all connected to, what very specific negative charges you have with this person or situation. Think back from the beginning of the relationship or the situation or circumstance experience. Think about the specific instances within that experience with this person. Think about how and why the different, the energy cord can um, carry a negative charge or multiple negative charges that is bouncing back and forth between you, making it very difficult to move on with your life, either with them or without them. If this person is going to be and remain in your life or you want them to return to your life and you feel that that would be good for both of you after some healing and clearing and time takes place and you let the natural events of destiny flow or they are currently in your life and you want things to be better. You want to clear out negative charge. You want to clear out negative energy. So think about all of these things here for a couple minutes.
Okay, so now that you've done a little inventory about this situation and this person, hopefully you've also written out some stuff before you got here and you've detailed all these things. You have all this energy at the surface and this is what we want to take the charge out of as we pull back our energy we want to send love to this other person so cutting cords is also an act of, of love and forgiveness and if that's difficult for you just imagine dissolving the identity of the person their ego their personality their identity and just see their soul. So at this time, we're going to remove the mirror image and the mirror going that is in front of you. We're going to replace this with calling up this person etherically to join us here in the healing temple. As we take back our energy and bring it into us. So imagine this person standing in front of you about eight to 10 feet in this space in the healing temple where you can look out in all directions and see that web of energy going all around. It's kind of superimposed over the, the stars. universe all the galaxies everything just right there but we see all the energy going in every which direction and it's like when when it comes to our perspective it's like the energy just crosses all around the healing temple as well and we're inside of it we're calling forth this person So imagine them standing there in front of you. And again, you can think about dissolving the, uh, the person, the ego, the identity of the person. To, if this helps you and just see the light of their soul, see their energy body and see your cords being connected right between you. So if they're 10 feet away, your cord would go to five feet, their cord would go to five feet and it's connected there at the center. So what we're gonna do is very gently start to walk that energy back into ourselves. And as we do that, we are automatically making their energy go back into them as well because we're not holding that connection so that connection is cut off hence cord cutting as you pull back that energy so we're going to count down from 10 to 0 each time we do that we're just pulling that energy back a little bit more the energy cord is getting smaller and smaller until it is all the way inside of us, charging us up in a whole new way, again with the intention of transmuting negative energy, with the idea of releasing the negative charges that happen that have happened between you and this person or this set of circumstances. The idea is to make you stronger, healthier, more balanced, more peaceful, more energy that is yours to be yours, not to be out and connected to negativity. Again, not to say that you can't reconnect very soon but this also serves as a wonderful reset resetting energies 
taking away the charge from the negative components of that of that cord that you have the history that you have with this person so we're going to count down from 10 and just see this pulling back from you and from them going back to them going back to you okay so 10 with 10 we're just unlocking and and releasing the connection so you can kind of feel this as like a suction letting go a pulling that releases nine pulling back a few more inches theirs does as well eight seven six So at this point, it's really pulling back and getting much smaller. Just see the energy cord on your side and their side really mimicking what's happening, really pulling back this cord, having the intention, taking back your energy, releasing the negative charges. So six and five, four, and three and with three this energy cord will be just a couple feet out in front of you much smaller than it was so not taking up your whole chest or abdomen just much much smaller much thinner rope as it's coming back into your body so much energy already coming back in just having the intention with three and two and one right there at the surface and zero point all the way in and you can take a look at yourself and the other person and see that this line of light is no longer outside of you it's no longer connected theirs is back with them you can see them even lit up even brighter imagine them happy and well content and peaceful sending your love to them you can do that without creating a new cord just send your love to them wishing them love and light and wellness whatever is to be will be for them and for you no matter what your relationship is have the intention of releasing and letting go really truly letting go of all that negativity all the negative charge really pulling back into you and feeling it from the top of your head all the way through your fingers your toes your legs your abdomen all of your chakras integrating with this energy like really pulling it back in through your body your angelics really coming into view here at this time in this room in this healing temple however you are to see them really feeling the charge of that crystal in your body even more so now really charge coming through using that energy to pull it through your crystal as though it's just sitting there in the center of your chest really helping facilitate this healing remember so just Pull all that energy that you just pulled back into your body. Filter it through the crystal. You can see it going from the bottom of your, um, or your, uh, your root chakra, so the bottom of your energy centers all the way up to the top, and see your center point, your your solar plexus chakra, um, as the center point of an infinity symbol. 
and you can start to uh, integrate this energy and see it going around your body in that infinity symbol. Sometimes we make this really big so it goes from our head down to our feet, but for this right here, we're gonna keep it just in the actual physical body. So going all the way up to the third eye and making that turn going around to the solar plexus and then making that turn down at the root chakra. Again, crossing at the solar plexus and going back up and around and just do that a few times, each time integrating with your body, getting back and, and into your system, integrating with that crystal that we embedded, that two-pointed crystal. As you do this, imagine that crystal really activating and sending this energy so you can ground better, that you have more life force in your body. So down and grounding with Gaia. So see and feel that energy going down. Again, see and feel that energy going up. And see the new energy going in a swirl all the way around, integrating until it disappears. And, and um it really integrates with the rest of your energy in your body. So I'm gonna be quiet here for a minute while we do this. Really feel the energy going all the way up to the very tippy tippy top of your head. Feel it going through your hair, your skin, on the outside, on the inside, down, your shoulders and your arms, through your fingers, through your bones, your spine, your electrical system, all the way down to the seat, down your legs, all the way down, your knees, your calves, your chins, your ankles all of your feet down to your toes and just feel the energy coming back in and just going everywhere. This is your energy. This is your energy that we charged with very high vibrational frequencies with that crystal and doing the work with the infinity symbol, integrating it back into your body so you're not integrating any negative energy. So just have that intention. Take a few nice deep breaths, really feeling that all through your body. So in and out of your nose to keep you nice and centered and calm. Remember, it's going to take some time for you to really acclimate to this new energy in your body. So your body may feel a little achy or sore. Your head may be a little heavy or you may feel pressure. Just drink a lot of water. Rest as you're guided. Have, have the intention over and over again to uh, tell yourself exactly, remind yourself what you've done here. What a beautiful thing that you did for yourself and this other person. Sending back energy lovingly to them or the situation that you were involved in that caused either pain or trauma it needed to be done and, and finished and bringing that energy back into your body. How good that is for you much stronger you're going to be once this is integrated and you've acclimated to this energy in your body. So at this time, what we're going to do is have the intention of leaving the healing temple and being back out on that main 
landing and, and garden fountain area. So the count of three, we're just gonna be there. One and two and three. So you're out there, whatever you are attracted to or remember, takes you back out there. Any specific faces or symbols or anything that might come into your awareness that you're paying attention to or that reaches out for you, just take note that you'll remember what this is. And once again, your animal spirit, your spirit animal coming to be with you and guide you down the steps, this big, huge staircase going down. As you're leaving though, everybody that's there gives you a nod and a smile or even an applause for doing the work that you did here today noticing just how much stronger you are feel it in your body feel it in your energy as you say your goodbyes here and you go down the steps knowing that when you get back to your body when you resume your life on gaia you've done this incredible energy work You've released the other person, the energy associated to those situations. You brought back the energy into your body. You have the intention of moving forward in a much healthier way, stronger, more sovereign. So you can release, receive, remember, and rise more and more in your future get the downloads, get the messages, see the synchronicities, understand the meanings of things and the messages as they come to you. So making your way down the staircase to your magical, floaty, golden, lit up orb and cloud that you rode on to get here. So make your way back onto this space here. Yes, my guides are saying this could be a chariot. So imagine it being this beautiful chariot that's taking you up to the healing temple. And you can ride this chariot back down with intention, down through the dimensions, And the gateways, the magical gateways, the different layers and planes of existence that we rose through and to to get to the healing temple. And we're making our way back into Gaia's atmosphere. You can see the all the happenings below, the cities, the lights. So we're making our way down. Just imagine you're way, making your way down to your home, where you are. And just feel yourself coming back into body. Your awareness back in your home where you're seated and take a few deep breaths feeling into your body into your energy again having the awareness of where you've just been the work that you've done what you've witnessed how you feel differently now you're still in that beautiful orb of light charged by your chakras and the angelics filtering through this beautiful energy around you. This will remain. 
it will remain as long as you want it to. You can continue to charge this, this fear of energy. You can certainly have this active when you go to sleep tonight. So you could just go right to bed right now. Just lay down and go to sleep if that's what feels good. You can just be here in this space for a little bit. Just thinking about what happened and integrating, meditating some more on your own with your guides and guardians while you're in this loosey goosey gooey space. You should remember to move slowly. You might be lightheaded. Your balance and and your um, even your strength might be a little off. So just take time, move slowly, drink lots of water for the next at least 24 to 48 hours, take baths as much as you can or nice hot showers, really allow the body to acclimate to this energy and nice hot baths and showers or especially baths if you can, but showers really help the body to um, acclimate to new energies and help you download and receive messages and all that good stuff. So. Have the intention of doing that. Have the intention of or it, just taking longer showers or having a nice long shower session tomorrow um, morning or sh bath and shower if you can or as soon as you can. And last but not least, just give yourself a nice warm soul hug for doing this work, for being so loving and to yourself, for following your guides and your guardians, however it was that you got here. I want to thank you so much for being here, for doing this work. I want to thank um, our guides and guardians, our angelics, yours, mine, and ours for guiding me to do this and update this practice today. It was really awesome and beautiful and very meaningful for me. I'm always so grateful to facilitate these astral meditations and I look forward to doing more and more in the future. So thank you so much for being here and being supportive um, of yourself, of me, of the Light Body Collective, of connecting to, your, to the High Council. Again, thank you to the High Council as always for being here and with us, for guiding us, and last but not least, our Great Mother Gaia. Thank you for holding us all. Thank you for sustaining our life and, and being our great mother and knowing us as well as you do and offering your love and guidance, your beautiful nature, your air, your water, all the elements that you give us, everything that you, that you are, we are, and we love you dearly. Thanks again for being here, everybody. Infinite love and blessings. Don't forget the key is to create. I love you already and always live in love.